What is demurrage? We hear about it all over the shipping world, retention and demurrage, D&D. But what is it? Hello, and welcome to Squall Strategies Captain's Log, your best source for maritime industry updates and analysis. I'm Lauren Began, founder of Squall Strategies, a boutique law firm specializing in federal regulatory analysis, including FMC mock audits and reviews, advice and consultation on potential regulatory impacts to your business, foreign tariff and trade expertise, general maritime consulting, and any other maritime-related matters that you need help with. For more information, visit www.squallstrategies.com. So what is demurrage? So when a container comes off a ship and gets offloaded into the yard, you're given a certain number of days, three days. It makes sense. The terminal report receives your container, and you don't have to drop everything and get there that day. Usually it's a week or so, and it's supposed to be a charge that incentivizes the movement of cargo off the yard. The longer the goods stay in the yard, the more expensive your rent will be to take up that valuable space. Usually you'll given, you're given about five to seven days of free days, and then another few days with a reduced demerge charge. And then after that, that charge might double or triple. And that's when the, the charges really start rolling in. But again, it's supposed to be an incentivization to get your goods off of the yard. So what's the problem? Sometimes these demerge charges can pile up so heavily that the charges to release the container are exponentially more than what the cargo is even worth. And if that cargo is perishable, like frozen fish, you could have a real mess on your hands if the cargo is abandoned. And sometimes the cargo will be abandoned if it's just too dang expensive to pay for that, the release of that cargo. So why do the charges pile up? Well, sometimes there's a hold on the container. Maybe it's a government hold, maybe it's a paperwork discrepancy, maybe it's outstanding charges unrelated to demurrage, and that's where the problem comes in. So while your container is sitting on the yard, one week, two weeks, a month, it's starting to build up some pretty hefty charges. That's demurrage. Detention is essentially the same thing, but it's the rent that's actually for the container, not the space it takes up on the yard. So while some people will say detention demurrage, they almost say it in the same breath as though it's the same thing, it is different things. Um, demurrage, like I said, is the cargo, is the box sitting on the yard taking up the space, whereas detention is essentially renting of the, of the container itself. So what's the problem? There's some controversy over how demurrage is assessed. Sometimes it's passed through a few different billing mechanisms, companies, before it gets to the end client. Maybe each time there's some administrative fees assessed. So what was initially a fairly reasonable charge that the terminal or the port was assessing is now maybe something that's crazy high in price. Um, and add in the per diem nature of the charge and you're entering into this abandoned cargo territory. Uh, that's not the only way that, that it can be ex exponentially high. Um, you know, maybe there's other outstanding reasons, external factors that are really keeping you from, from taking that cargo off the yard, and that's why the, the price has gone up. Um, you know, maybe just general congestion is keeping you from being able to access the yard. Um, but remember, demurrage is in place to be a catalyst for getting that cargo off the yard. Keep removing, if you will. The longer it sits on the yard, the less space the yard has for the next box, and then that starts to slip into the, the root cause, the original cause of the congestion. And once that dam starts to break on congestion, it can really be a heck of a time digging out. If you keep your cargo there and then another box comes in and then another box, all of a sudden you're digging out and you really, there's nowhere else for the cargo to go. It can become a real mess. So who's doing what? The Federal Maritime Commission is the federal regulatory agency responsible for overseeing demurrage. Um, they put out some guidance on the matter saying that there needs to be some reasonableness to the demurrage. They, they have said that they understand and, and they think that it's really an incentivization to get the cargo off the yard. And so they'd like to see practices that are in line with that from what I've seen from the guidance recently coming out from the commission. In general, I, I like to advise clients that they need to be reviewing their demurrage charges, um, either the ones that they're paying or the ones that they're assessing. Are they reasonable? Are they defensible? Meaning, if you're asked to explain how you're assessing them or why you're assessing them, can you say it's because you're incentivizing cargo movement and help maintain the free flow of cargo off the yard? Is there another reason? If there is, that, that might be okay, but we need to make sure that that reason is reasonable. Does it make sense? Does it, is it in line with the spirit that the FMC has really said that they like to see for demerge charges, the movement of goods off the yard? 
you may see a profit line from Demurrage as the as the issuing authority or or the pass through authority, but it really needs to be found money, not necessarily expected money, and maybe not necessarily expected profit. You know, once you once you have it expected as a line item on your business, rather than money that just is offsetting the burden of the cargo in your yard, you might start to be entering into questionable territory. Um, you know, it's it's there are quite a few places that see demurrage as a pretty huge line item on their business line on their PL statements but unfortunately it it really needs to be that found money because as i said if, if you're expecting this money to be there and you're you're budgeting for a certain number that you're going to be hitting and and you take action to hit that number that's where it gets a little dicey because it really needs to be an honest cost that's offsetting the burden of the cargo being on your yard. So that's the quick and dirty version of what demurrage is. So while the guidance here is general, it shouldn't be construed to be legal advice directly related to your matter, but I'd love to take a look and help you review your practices, help you review your documents, help you review the things that you've, you've paid for, these charges that you've paid for. Um, again, this is Lauren Began, and you've just listened to Squall Strategies Captain's Log. For more information or to get in touch with me, go to squallstrategies.com. See you next time.